Good morning. I'll, I'll open up. Kind, kind, gracious Father, we come thanking you yet for another day, Lord. Hallelujah. Another day you woke us up. Somebody didn't wake up this morning, but God, you saw fit to let us wake up and be able to get on the line with our chaplain sisters and brothers, Lord, and all that, that come on the line, Lord, to give you praise and glory today, Lord. Thanking you for all that's going to take place today. Thank you for all our leaders and all the UAW leaders. Everybody that's in this line, I pray that all is well with your families. We bless the sick and the shut-in, and we want to comfort the bereaved families right now. Asking you these and all blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And can we have a volunteer to Amen. read Article 41? The foundation of the UDA chaplaincy program says it shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother or sister members in case of illness, death, or distress, and in every way equate her or himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. Amen. Amen. And with that, we'll introduce the International Chaplaincy Executive Board, starting with Bill Eady. Call it. Thank you, Lord. Okay, come on, brother, brother Carson. Brother Carson. Thank you, Elder. Hello, chaplains. I want to bring you greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you for all you do in your place of work in our union, in the community, and within for your families, being the salt and the light, meeting people where they are and loving on them, giving them hope. Today is our program is going to be hosted by uh, by our foundation, our, our UAW retirees. I'm excited. I'm excited every time I, that we get together and it really honestly takes it to another level for us that can get on through the video and we can see each other's faces and I'm seeing God's glory in each one of you. Thank you for everything you you honestly won't know until we get home and every knee bows and every tongue confesses about what you meant to God and what you've done to serve him. And like Jesus told Peter, feed my sheep. And that's what you are busy about, God's business every day of your lives. Just want to ask you to continue and, and, and thank you, uh, Geneva. That was a beautiful prayer. And honestly, I hear people, you know, whenever I hear people make a comment, well, all we can do is pray. Well, that's the most powerful thing we can do is, is call on God. That is, and he is present. He is faithful. He is loving. He is kind. He is the way maker. And thank you for that beautiful prayer. And, 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 and thank you for reading Article 41, Section 2. That We know that God put that in our Constitution. Just ask you to continue to be praying for it for the children in Ukraine and now we got this hurricane coming in through the Gulf and uh, and that's since 1921 that means 101 years since they've had a, a hurricane like this come up into the Gulf and ask you to continue to reach out and ask everybody to get with your local union and get your contact information up to date please do that please do that it's so important God says faith without works is dead. We need to be the hands and the feet, and we need to be leading. And that way, whenever we're talking to the other membership about updating their contact information, we're leading by example and doing it. And please, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, make sure that you follow up on that and do it. So whenever you're asking the others that you're engaged with, that you can say, I did mine. I took, even though my address because a lot of us, our addresses don't change very often, but a lot of us, they do. We do have to be, I know I worked in four different plants over the years and got, had to move around. We all be moving, right? So please update that contact information, encourage the membership. Um, this And I know Elder's going to be hitting on this. This coming Monday, October 3rd is the first Monday of the month. 
and we're going to have our have our uh, web exit 7 to 8 p.m. on this coming Monday, October the 3rd. Can, and, and then uh, Elder and I are scheduled to go into Region 8 for their Standing Committees Conference for chaplaincy to support and excited about that coming up October 17th to the 21st. And then last thing and I'm done is Brother uh, Randall Willis, uh, Region 4 coordinator, he probably texted to Elder too that he is in uh, emergency response team training, so he may not be able to get on the WebEx with us. But and 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 I didn't say Helena. Thank you for that 41 section too. And it's so good to see each one of you. I love you. Just seeing your faces honestly encourages me. Love you, chaplains. I turn it back over. Okay, Connie, let me take it from here. I see Brother Bill is there. Uh, go ahead on, Brother Bill. Good morning. Good morning, chaplains. Once again, it is an honor and a pleasure to be on the chaplaincy conference call. I want to say, uh, I first and foremost, bring you greetings from President Ray Curry, Vice President Chuck Browning, and the entire International Executive Board. What a blessing, what a blessing it is to be on this call today. Uh, chaplains, uh, you know, the nation uh, is going through a lot at this point in time. We ask that you can continue to stay on the wall and continue to keep uh, not only um, this great uh, union that we belong to uplifted in prayer, but also this, this nation. Um, we also, and this world for that matter of fact. Um, chaplains, I want to thank you. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, awesome what you do in your your place of work in your communities for your religious organization but but most importantly what you do for your families um, we can't stress that enough uh family is so important um, and as we uh as we know uh nothing is really certain in this life except death you know so just enjoy your families that's that's one of the things i want to say and uh you know you know and uh as they say you know make sure that uh you uh you know give roses to folks while they, while they can smell them i just want to say that to to the chaplains today uh, as a word of advice um and i just want to say uh thank you i look forward to the program today i'm excited um you know for some reason my uh internet or, or things have been cut off the last couple of weeks and i've been getting cut off from uh, and listening to the entire program, and I just look forward to uh, listening to the entire program today and hearing everybody. Um, God bless everybody, and uh, let's get it rolling. All right, take care. Okay, thank you, uh, Bill. Thank you, uh, Jerry. And thank you, uh, Assistant Coordinator, Sister Connie Bobby, who happened to be a retiree. We, we appreciate the work that you do. Um, let me pick it back on Jerry because I probably have to bring him back in. The question that was asked was, when do they have to have the information for the contact list? Well, Is there a deadline to where that list and that mailing need to be in? Brother thank Carson. You. Thank you, Elder. It's critical to get it done as soon as possible. The first ballots go out on October the 17th, and then there'll be a second wave of them going out on the 24th. But yes, you got to get it done now because, you know, it takes time to get that sys. Once you go in and, and have them update your contact information, it takes a minute for it to filter through the system. Um, so it's critical because the first ballots go out on October the 17th. So please get your contact information up to date and one other thing elder and i know you're going to speak on it you've asked uh region 1a and region 8 to flip their dates for uh to switch up where region 1a will be on october the 14th and and region 8 will be on october the 19th i know that you've already worked that out with them but i just wanted to circle back to that too any other questions Good point. Uh, thank you, Brother Carson. Hey, um, um, it is very important that we as chaplains be timely. 
So this is urgent. This is important. So I'm going to go to uh, Bill Eady to see if there's anything he need to say to us. We are the ambassadors. We need to get the word out and nobody else to. Brother Bill, is there anything you'd like to add? No, I think Jerry covered it. Uh, well, I mean, it's just important for all aspects in the UAW that you have your contact information correct at your local union. Um, your local union needs to be able to contact you uh, and they need to be able to send out information to you and you need to get that information that your local union sends out to you. Um, so with that being said, I think it's just important regardless of the circumstance that you make sure that your contact information is correct at the local union. And also, um, and that we, we do reach out to our fellow co-workers and ask them to make sure it's important that they they know, they know that it is important that the local union has a lot of good things that they sent out to uh, the membership. And it's important that uh, all of the members be informed of things going on in their union. Um, the only way that we can make sure that that happens is that we have that local contact information filled out and correct. It doesn't take but a second to uh, either make a phone call or, or stop by that local to make sure that your stuff is correct. So we just ask that every everybody do that. And then, uh, as Jerry said, be ambassadors for the for the UAW um, following Article 41, Section 2 and, 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 and uh, you know, make sure that we do what we're supposed to do because um, we are uh, leaders and, and as leaders and as people who do things decent and in order, we just want to make sure our stuff is right. And uh, that's what we need to do. And I'll turn it back Bill. over. To you. Hey, Bill. Yes. Can can you can you speak to because you are over the it for the ESSP uh, program and and for the others that don't know what it is, it's EAP program. Tell tell them about what have situations come up where the company will not share contact information with the union, and there was emergency situations over the years that we've run into. If a local had the correct contact information, we could go to that brother or sister's home and check on them or reach out to them on via phone. Yes, absolutely. Did you speak to that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, one of the things that Jerry Jerry's just talking about is that you know there's situations where things are coming up and and and. Uh, there are particular situations where uh, your local union officials, whether that be your ESSP reps at the, at, the, at the local or even at the international level, if we need to contact somebody for a particular situation, we're going to go to that local and ask them for the information about the members. So with that being said, it is vital that uh, if that information is not correct, we can't get a hold of you. Um, and, 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 in different particular situations, whether it be, it could be alcohol, drug related, it could be, you know, a person uh, in, in, in the family that uh, could be suicidal. It, there's just a variety of different things that, that could take place that we would need that information. And, and with the uh, privacy acts of the company, uh, they won't release that information unless you have waivers and things of that nature. So, so, but our local union will allow us the opportunity to connect with our our members in times of need. So, um, I think it's just vitally important that we we can also share that information. You know, for folks who might be a little bit apprehensive about participating in uh, you know any uh, electoral process, just let them know that hey. It, it, it's not all about that. It's, you know, we have other things that the local union needs to get in contact with you about, you know, and just, you know, basic information um, and uh, in emergency situations also. So we just need that information. And that's something that you can also share if you have any kickback from your uh, fellow uh, members at your local as you uh, share the information about. Let's make sure all our contact information is correct. All right. All right, all right. All right. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Bill. And uh, let me just bring it to the house. You call the local union to make sure your information is correct. How about that? 
you call to check on your personal contact. You'd be surprised. You'll be surprised. And don't make the mistake of saying, well, I couldn't reach the union, so I called labor relations and they gave me the information. No. Different system. Totally different. And today, hey, we're going to roll with the retirees. And um, I want to acknowledge the activities of all of our region. I'm, not, I'm just going to put them in a bowl. The past couple of weeks, you, you guys have done an awesome job. I acknowledge uh, the young lady out of region for uh, driving all the way from Illinois to Kansas City to be a part of a prayer brunch. I want to acknowledge her, but I don't have time for her to say any words. But I just want to acknowledge her. She know who she is. But what I want to do, <clears throat> CC Wright, are you with us this morning? Yes, I am. Uh, Marcia, are you with us this morning? Yes, I am. I need both of you to stay off of mute because you have an assignment. Uh, we had talked about enhancing chaplaincy uh, and the Lord spoke and wanted us to uh, put more responsibilities with the retirees. So today we are adding another couple, so to speak, uh, CC, Wright and Marcia, they will be hosting next fourth uh, Wednesday retirees. They will be co-hosting it, and they will do what you guys, Sister Helen and Paul and uh, all of the retirees that had a set. You won't lose it. We are just adding on. And today, um, Sister C.C. Wright, can you repeat after me? This is. This is. A teaching moment. A teaching moment. What we're going to do, we're going to prepare you today real quick. You're going to do the roll call. And the reason goes like this, Sister Wright. I'll write this down. You're going to do the roll call for region one. Region 1A, Region 1D, and of course, your very own Region 2B. Can you do that? Yes, Region 1A, 1D, and 2B. Yes. Say that again. Region 1A, Region 1D, and Region 2B. Region 1 is the very first one. That's why we have teaching moment. Thank you very teaching much. Moments. Amen. Thank you. Region Amen. one. Region one A. Region one D. And region two B. You got that? Gotcha. Yes, sir. I got it. Sister Marcia, God bless you. Repeat after me. Uh -huh. This is a teaching moment. This is a teaching moment. When Sister Cece get through with her roll call, you will pick it up beginning with Region 4. Okay. Region 8, Region 9, and Region 9A. Okay. All right, we're going to roll like that. And after you guys get through, um, I think... Um, uh, the thing that we would accomplish today is what Jerry Carson have taught all of us. Many hands make for a light load. Yes, yes, yes. So, CC, we turn it over to you. Um, you got this. Go it on. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. At this time, we're going to have roll call starting with Region 1. Geneva Murph, Local 961, Retiree, FCA. 
This is Chaplain Mew. Pauline Rose, local 889, CI Chrysler, retired. Chaplain Mew on Jesus, active, FCA, local 212. Robert Ghostin Jr., local 653, General Motors, Milford Proving Grounds, active. Ayanna Bailey, local 375, Mopart Marysville, active. Thank you, Region 1. Region 1A, Region 1A, roll call. Lisa Dukes, local 245, Ford Motor Company, active. Brother Aline. LaMail Chapman Sr., go ahead. Aline Walker, what? local 600, Ford Motor Company, retiree. Brother Linnell Chapman Sr., local 600, Ford Motor Company, active. Shirley Davenport, local 163, active. Casas Bobby. Go ahead, Sheila. Thank you, Connie. Um, God bless you all. Sheila Stribling, local 6000, state of Michigan, retiree. Tina Chapman, local 3000, Ford Motor Company, active. <laughs> Angela Banham, Angela Banham, Local 387, International Staff, Social Security Department. Constance Bobbitt, Local 163, Retiree, Daimler. Thank you, Region 1A. Roll call, Region 1D. Roll call, Region 1D. Eugene Murchison, Local 602, GM Active. Ken Kenyon, Local 1002, Builders of the hot, Best Hot Water Heaters in the World, Middleville, Michigan. Active. Region 1D. Region 1D. Thank you. Region 2B, Region 2B, roll call, Region 2B. David Watson, Local 440, GM Active. James Jefferson, Local 12, Active. That Not was sure. that was Tracy, but she's having some uh, connection difficulties. Okay. CC Wright, local twelve, region two B, Mercy St. Vincent Hospital, retiree. Deborah Young. Local 12, St. Vincent's Mercy Hospital, active. <laughs> okay, I think um, um, that will complete the first half of our roll call. Can y'all help me um, give Sister Cece a good God bless you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Good job. Well done. Good job. Well done. Good job. Praise God. And that's what um, we will move forward to in the future. I will get with um, you and our next, next host, 
Sister Marcia, <laughs> it's in your hand. Good afternoon, everyone. We're doing roll call, Region 4. Good afternoon. Kim Collier. Come on, Kim. Kim Collier, Mopar, Chicago PDC Active, Local 1178. And then Randall Willis, Chicago Stamping, 588 Active. Good afternoon, on, this is Angela forward. King. Angela King, Local 31 GM Active. God bless. This is Daryl Stewart, what? local 249 for Kansas City, active. Marcia Starks, local 551 Ford Motor Company, Chicago Assembly Plant, retired. Tamika Shannon, Tamika oh, Shannon, Stewart. local 31 Fairfax Assembly, active. Marshall Watkins, Sharon Jr., Jones. local 2250, General Motors, Wentzville, active. Sandra Watkins, local 110, retiree, active. I mean, retiree. <laughs> active retiree. This <laughs> <laughs> is Sherry Gillis Clark, local 31, General Motors, Fairfax, Kansas, and I am active. David Grimaud. Local 2096, Pontiac, Illinois, Caterpillar, and I'm an active retiree also. Yes. <laughs> Daniel Hathaway, Local 588, uh, Ford Motor Company, active. All right, we're moving on to Region 8. The Region 4. April McCullough, Chicago Assembly Plant, Ford Motor Company, 501. <laughs> I am active. Yes, to all. Yeah. Michelle Brown, Local 249, Kansas City. James C, local 862, Ford Motor Company, active. Paul Nichols, local 1895, Ford, and I'm an active retiree, yeah. Yeah. Candace McCord, local 1853, Magnus City, active. Cynthia Harris, local 218, their helicopter international route active. Patrick Klein, local 2164, General Motors active. Any more from Region 8? Okay, let's go on to Region 9. Brother Craig Davis, Local 686, General Motors in Lockport, New York, active. Region 9. Okay, let's go on to Region 9A. Renfred Wines, Local 2377 of the City of Stamford, Local Government, active. Any more from Region 9A? All right, Elder Herb, I believe that's it. Thank you. Okay, let me circle back and see, did everyone get a chance to acknowledge the roll call? If you haven't going on at this time. Okay, once again, going on. 
Wonderland Parker, Region 4, uh, retiree 110. Okay. God bless everyone. Let's see this before we go into prayer. Everything we need is in the house. In the house. Yeah, Al, right. do you have another one? Okay, yeah, Jordan. I believe you do have another one. Yes. Angie Green, local 1796. Well, Okay, thank you, Angie. Thank you, Angie. Um, last Friday, uh, the Lord revealed that he wanted us to um, do something more with our retirees. And man, if we just wait on the Lord, sometime we have to wait a little longer than normal, but on this occasion, when he asks us to give more responsibilities to our retirees, Lord have mercy. He responded, and somebody said it and didn't know they were saying it, and it flowed, and, and it just did something to my body. I just felt his spirit on me saying, that's it. So going forward, the UAW chaplaincy retirees, when they announce themselves to anybody, we are going to say, my name is Herb Taylor from UAW Local 31, and I am an active retiree. Don't that sound God like? Ain't that what we are? Yeah. Amen. Still in his yes. Yes. If you don't want to pray, yeah. I got some rocks that I can throw at you. Don't cry out for me. Active. Uh -huh. And I love these. Paul Nichols, do you hear what I just said? <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Say something, Amen. Paul. Say something before we go into prayer. Well, it's just the idea that if you're retired, you know what I mean? I know that we've had many retirees that felt like they just fell off the wagon. We just come from a luncheon yesterday at 1130 and they had me have prayer before we all ate. It's just a, and there was a sister there that's got a cap on, that had a tumor and she looks bad. But <coughs> One brother said, we need to pray. Mm -hmm. So I reached over and grabbed hold of her. She's been a dear sister. I've done a wedding for her other husband. And when he died, I'd done the funeral. So I'm just saying you're being active to taking care of your people. Had prayer with her and want to see God move upon the scene. You know, her and her husband both mm -hmm. worked there at the plant. So it's just, a, it's just amazing to, because you have the time. Yes, and sir. others don't have the time. So yes, sir. And I was with Brother Fred Hunt, you know, Brother yeah. Elder. That's, <laughs> so him and his wife and I, my wife was at the luncheon. So we we have to be able to love one another, and he, and and that's what Article Forty One, Section Two. You know, yeah. that's we found that man when he found that in our Constitution, that was our foundation. Yeah. But we were already moving along, but didn't even know that it was there. And someone written that down and had that put in the Constitution. My, my, my. God was God was active. <laughs> well, we did not know. Love you all. God bless. God bless. Um, let's let's go into prayer. And um, we know God do what he do. Pastor Walker, could you open us up in prayer and following Pastor Walker, we will request that the people that pray today out of respect would be a member of the active retirees and we just flow. Pastor Walker. Bye, Elder Herb, 
I'm sorry. This is Lisa Duke. Um, I thought there would be a moment where um, the different um, locals would be able to speak up, but I just need to um, so, that you so, guys so, 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 Whatever you get, we're going to hear. I promise you. Pastor Walker, okay. please. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you so much for always moving on our behalf. We thank you so much that when we don't know what to do next, you're always there feeding us things and you're letting the, the retirees know that we are active. We are active retirees. We thank you that you're always pouring to us and, and leading and guiding us into things that your way. So, Father God, we are praying that these UAW active retirees will continue to keep their ears and their minds and their heart open to hear what you have to say, to see what you're doing. We are a mighty army, an army that's leading the way in the UAW chaplaincy program. It's not always easy. It don't always feel good. But Father God, we want to be obedient. We're learning about being obedient as well. Sometimes you can't think or talk or do anything, but just listen for the instructions and be obedient. Help us to be those kind of people. Help us to be obedient. And when our leadership asked us to give correct update information, help us to be obedient. Help us to just learn how to just listen as a soldier does. A, a soldier follows the leadership no matter what it is. Help us to be that way. The Bible teaches us that we are all children, and as children, we have to be obedient and listen and learn. And so, Father God, help us to do these things so that we operate a whole lot better. Many hands make a light load, but too many heads will cause confusion. So help us to follow the head, oh God. We thank you. We're up in age now, but we're still children. We're up in age now, but we still can be obedient. We're up in age, oh God, and we're in some pretty good positions, but we still want to follow you, Lord. We thank you for letting us be a part of this chaplaincy program. We thank you, oh God, that you look down on upon us, and it's nothing so great that we done. It just shows how great you are and how compassionate and how loving you are to us. So we say thank you. A lot of people didn't make it to be a senior citizen, a retiree, but we made it. And Father God, I want to thank you because I'm doing good. I'm so glad to be a retiree. Death has knocked at some of our doors, and but you told them to get back. Trouble knocked on our doors, and you told trouble to get back to. Confusion and heartaches and pain just kept knocking at our doors, but you had the blood on the post of some of those that believe, oh God. And if we just have faith and continue to march in solidarity, if we have faith and continue to march in unity, to keep looking out for the one that are weaker and grab them by the hand and hold them up and then we hold each other and say we're going to make it it don't always feel good it don't always look good but we're going to make it because we serve an awesome god that's always right there never take a vacation you never complain oh god you just keep on blessing and healing so father god we want to say thank you for all of our blessing we're not going to focus on the negative we're not going to focus on the problems we're not going to focus on the naysayers yes. we're going to keep yes. looking up to the hills from which comes our help our help does come from you we believe we are servants jerry says we are servants of you so father god as we are your servant you continue to use us so ever you please god and i know every chaplain will have a heart to say i do and i will we will follow you with every breath that we take we will follow you with Hallelujah. every step that we make we are following Hallelujah. you somebody says down through the years god's been good to me 
God's been good to the UAW chaplaincy, brought us from a mighty long way. Father God, we realized if it had not been for you, we would not be here. In the very beginning, there was problems and people fought against having a chaplaincy program, but we got one and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. We are bringing on the Joshua's and, and we are bringing on all companies from all over the country. We are yes. all on you on Microsoft Teams and, and then we got our own web now. We are being acknowledged and we have a foundation that we are building upon. We are building, yes. we are marching, we are loving, we are caring, yes. we are doing what we have to do as best we can to be your servant. So God, use us, God. Keep putting these ideas into the heads of our leaders and Jerry and Bill and Herb and let us be active retirees. Hallelujah. We may Hallelujah. not can do what some of the Thank young you, people Jesus. do, but we can do what we do. We can use Hallelujah. our wisdom, our knowledge. We can use what you gave us. Glory. Because I'm reminded of Moses. All he had was a stick. And you said, use what you got. Because if we use what we got and they'll be obedient to what you say, there's power in that. We can still open up some Red Seas. We can still put fire out of fire we can do all these things that we just continue to be active retirees and obedient and listen for your instructions oh god yes. so now we want to say thank you we're really nobody we ain't we're just dust but you use us anyway I, so i can't wait to see thank your face you. and say thank you in person thank you god that you allowed you called me to the uaw chaplaincy program it's an honor it's an honor there's many people in the uaw that need there's many people that look for a chaplain i remember herb saying that he left his pork chop to serve and to bless and i yeah. know many of you left your pork chops left your steaks and got up and went to see about Lord. somebody somebody that might have committed suicide some somebody that that might have hurt somebody else Yes. You called us. Yes. There are people crying and people in bereavement and people caught in storms and, and we are concerned about all kinds of things all across the country. But you called us to pray. So we are praying, God. We thank you for the opportunity and the privilege. Jerry says a privilege. It's not just all you can do. Yes. It's a privilege. And yes. we take it an honor to come together to pray. I pray in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sister Eileen, I tell you something in your prayer, you just stated something about use what you have. Um, like like Moses with that rod. And this weekend, my sermon was, um, what did you do with your talents? You know what I mean? So mm. it's, it's a wonderful piece of prayer right there because if we have our talents and we do not use it, then we are depriving someone of something good. Okay, thank you, Reverend. Come on, Sister Murph. Come on, Sister Murph. Kind, gracious Father. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Lord, we thank you for just being able to be on this call, being able to listen. I thank you for being an active chaplain as I I'm a retiree, and as I have went through things, and you have brought me out of things, and I just thank you, Father. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my voice from giving you the praise. I ask you right now to bless everyone on this line. I ask you to bless all our leaders, everybody that, that's trying to do the best that they can to keep us afloat. And as we be able to reach out to other people, Lord, I just thank you for them, them being able to hear us on the web, on the webcast, on YouTube. Oh, that's a blessing, Lord, to get the word out the way that we get the word out. I'm asking you in the name of Jesus to continue to bless our leaders, continue to bless the Jerry Carson and, and the, uh, Bill Edies and I, and I, oh, Lord, oh, Herb Taylor, Lord, he, he, he gets the word from you, Lord, and he gives it to us. And we are trying to be obedient. We got to be obedient to the word, to what he's trying to get across to us. I thank you for that. I thank you for the prayers that's went forth. I'm asking you, Father, to continue to bless this, this 
chaplaincy, Lord. I am so proud to be able to be a chaplain for the UAW. And this is just nothing that is it's like nothing short of being one of your children, one of your ambassadors, one of the one representing you, Lord. It's like rep the representing the whole world. You got the whole world in your hand. And I know your will is going to be done for the for everything that's going on, all the sicknesses, all the all these storms. Lord, I just thank you right now because you got the whole world in your hand and can't nobody do nothing yes. like you can do it. We thank you right now. Give you praise. We give yes. you glory. Oh, we giving you all the praise and glory and honor, Lord. You are a mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. Oh, Hallelujah. Father, been praising you. I don't have to take any more infusions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your will has been done. I just thank you, Lord. I thank you. I, we go through things. We be going through things. We don't look like what we go through. And I thank you for that. Hallelujah. Thank Glory. you, Jesus, for this opportunity to come to you. I'm steady praising you. I give you praise. I give you glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you.
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Wonderful God. Merciful God. You guys, uh, Jesus. you guys are awesome. And uh, man, when God gives us something, uh, I'm not gonna have him whoop me. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I have had God uh, discipline, correction, Ooh, and it stays with you. So uh, we like to, we we read all the texts that come to us, and we have a brother uh, that Lisa wanted us to pray for. Uh, he's a chaplain, Stan Mosley. I guess he had a fall and he broke his foot. And we are going to pray for that situation, but I want to pray for all of the members uh, that are going through. I want to pray for all of the retirees because God saw enough from what the retirees has been doing in his vineyard to bring up the Jabez prayer. Mm. Enlarge my territory mm. and bless me. Indeed. Indeed, don't you realize when God enlarges our territory. He's blessing us because he's telling us that if you are faithful over a few things, he will make you rulers over many. And I love this chaplaincy network of the UAW and brother Jerry we're going to give the responsibility to you to pray for Stan mostly but have words before you pray Jerry because uh, y'all don't know brother Carson is laboring he go through a lot and uh, I want to say this because I have to say it if and I know you do, if you believe in God, mm. believe in his word. Send the word. Send the word. If there's a request on your heart, you don't have to be there. Just send the word. Brother Carson. Hey, hey Elder. I'm going to be praying for Brother Mobley. He's an anointed man of God, but can we ask Bill Eady to say the prayer, please? If, if, is Bill still on our call? Bill's with us, and I know that, I mean, I'm going to be praying for Brother Mobley. We love him. If Bill, if Bill could say the prayer, if not, I will say the prayer, because uh, Brother Mobley's in my heart, but here comes Bill. Whenever we get whenever we get to hear from our leader, that's a double blessing. Many hands. Many hands. Brother Bill Eady. Lord our Father, once again we come to you today asking that you continuously bless and keep your loving arms and shield around this great institution that we belong to, the UAW. Father, we have some members that are going through. Father, we ask a special blessing today for Brother Mobley as he is, he is, <coughs> he's been injured in an accident. And Father, we ask that you provide, <coughs> go down to your hem of your garment and pull out the medicine to provide healing for Brother Mobley. We have many members that are going through in the UAW. And we ask that you bless all the members in the UAW. Father, we ask a special blessing today that you continue to lead and guide our retirees as we stand on their shoulders, Father, because they, they have plowed the way through for us, Father. We're just so thankful and so grateful for all the many blessings 
that we enjoy because of the sacrifices that our retirees have made for us. And Father, we're grateful for the re for retirees that they continue to stand on the wall, to stand mm -hmm. in the to be there for us, Father. We're just so grateful. Thank you. We're so thankful to you. We just can't give you enough praise, Father, for all the many blessings you continuously bestow upon us. Father, we thank we are so thankful for the retiree wisdom that they continuously impart upon the the even though they're active, but the active members that are toiling in the plants, that are toiling in the yes. in, 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 in the buildings, Father, that are under the US UAW jurisdiction. Father, we're just so grateful for these retirees. And we we just ask that you continue to lead and guide them. And we ask that you continue to give them the energy, the strength to keep pushing on, Father, because it's, it's just a, such a blessing for the young Joshua's to see and be guided by the retirees in the chaplaincy department. Father, we also... <clears throat> come today asking that you continuously bless the leadership of the yes. UAW. We have bless the leadership so they are led and guided by the principles that you have laid down for us, so it's Father. Father, you allowed us to have that, that, that great Article 41, Section 2 in the, the Constitution of the UAW. Father, we ask that, that everybody abide by it, but Father, we really ask that you you, you allow the, the, the leadership at, at the top of the international union all the way for to the leadership at the locals father we plan for the leadership at the locals father we they need wisdom they need guidance during these tough times that that, that they're going through father it is not easy to be a leader it is not easy to uh, sacrifice for the members father but we know that it is worth it father because our members are great people father we just so grateful and so thankful for all the many blessings you can throw upon us we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just want to say God bless all the chaplains, Father, and allow them to continue to do the great works that they are doing for this UAW, for this, <clears throat> for their communities, for the places of worship, and for their families, Father. We ask that you continue to bless all the families. Comes the sound of my voice, Father. These are the blessings we ask in your almighty son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We, we will um, we will close with that prayer. Jerry, if you can stop the recording, um, we would like to touch our sub.